Hello everyone! Oh my god, I was... I'm so sorry, I was running kind of late. I apologize. Uh, I didn't make tea! Okay, let me put on the ducks for you because I low-key for gore. And while you guys are distracted with your mini games, I'm gonna make the tea. Um, that's how it works, right? <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, slots! Slots! And yeah. <laughs> and I can make the tea and you won't even notice that I was gone because yeah, that's just how it works now. <clears throat> okay. Have a everyone, have a tech, have a zone, have a minami, have a altar, have a Lucas. Seven ducks are flowing to the river is your name now. <laughs> Something unbelievable happened. I washed my hair. That is that is a very concerning statement to make. Do not say that in my presence again. It's not supposed to be an unbelievable thing to do. What the hell? Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh god, I almost spilled it. Okay, I'm um, here. My birthday wedding is here at all yesterday. Happy birthday to you yesterday, Tech. Yeah, I'm glad you had a good day. That's really good to hear that everything went well. Did you get anything nice for your birthday? Let me just put on... Um... Now, I know it was your birthday yesterday, but it's not today, so you can't be in the jar. Your dog tried spawning in the jar, like, ooh, it was my birthday yesterday, but mm -mm. it's gone. It's no longer your birthday. You're gonna have to wait a year. Sorry. Alter P spawned in the jar now. Stop it, you guys. <laughs> Stop spawning in my jar. <clears throat> Hello, Alex. How cruel. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God. The fall is really loud in my ears. I don't know if you guys can hear the music. Tell me if it's like... There? <laughs> you can't stop me? Yes, I can. I literally have the power of grabbing you and dragging you over like that. So, I can do whatever I want. How are you guys doing? How is everybody's uh, weekend? I guess... Friday to Tuesday. <laughs> we can hear the music. Okay, that's that's good. <clears throat> oh god, I'm so unorganized. I I don't really want to admit why I was late. Well, I wasn't late. I was almost late. I looked at the time, and it was like seven fifty-seven, and I was like, ah oh, shit, I got three minutes. So I quickly put on VTube Studio and everything. Um. It's my weekend now, so pretty good. Oh, you're you're off work. Um, yeah, I was watching this terrible anime on Netflix. <laughs> it was so bad. It was it was so bad, I, and I got I got I got kind of distracted because I couldn't take my eyes off of just how terrible it was. You know, I'm sorry, but I'm here now. I'm on time. Okay. We are back to more outfit designs. I got Shin naked here, as always, classic. <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> Which one? There are so many. You're right. Netflix has so much just like weirdly low budget anime. You'd think that Netflix would have like the money to make decent quality anime, but they have this really strange amount of just like really shit anime. <laughs> but um... The one I was watching is called something like... Ooku the Inner Chambers, I don't fucking know. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's like... It's like weirdly reversed Apothecary Diaries, but it's just, it's really not good. There's just nothing going on for it that could possibly make it good. Um, I don't know, it was just, it was terrible. <laughs> it was just absolutely terrible. 
<clears throat> Why did she change his icon to Sonic and Kermit? I don't know. I was I went to his Twitter today because I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do Shin today. And I click on his Twitter and I just see the fucking profile picture of Sonic and Kermit kissing and I was like, huh? <laughs> Well, I already dedicated the episode to him. I already made up my mind. It's too late to go back on my decision. They just buy the licensing rights for anything? Yeah, it sure feels like it. The worst thing was that the first episode was an hour long. I kid you not, it was an hour long. It, oh my god. I, first, I was watching it and I was like, that's, that's weird. Uh, this episode is kind of long, and so I kind of like move my mouse, and I see that I still got 40 minutes left, and I'm like, huh? <laughs> is this a movie? And then I look at it, and no, it has episodes. It just has an hour-long first episode. They really thought they were doing something there. Anyways, uh, that's how I apparently just spent my time. <laughs> Good God. Okay, so I decide. I don't know. I haven't done the second outfit yet, but for the first outfit, I actually kind of want to make Shin like um, like a really, really cheesy, classic, old school Vocaloid design. <laughs> I think. I think he could appreciate it. Like, you know, what if Shin was an Utao? Or something like that. From like 2010. You know? Like one of those. Um, and it's fine. He's not here. He can't stop me. Hatsune <laughs> Blinko? <laughs> and the Vocaloid designs are so... I just like making Vocaloid designs. Leave me alone, okay? Vocaloid designs go hard, and they're just so much fun. I got a Pinterest board here, but I'm not showing it to you because it's a, it's not very full of content. I did not make a proper re reference board. I normally do, but I just I just didn't have much time today. It's fine, whatever. <laughs> Clearly, the one hour long low budget anime was more important to me than this whole thing. <laughs> Local design slay. Of course they do. <clears throat> it makes complete sense. Yes, even better for a vocaloid design. <laughs> exactly. One must always be thinking about vocaloid. Or otherwise, what's the point, you know? <clears throat> My dream is to be a VTuber to appear on Sailor Taylor. Yeah, you debut as a VTuber. You appear on Sailor Taylor and then you're like, I have done everything there is to do and you just graduate. <laughs> That's it. That was my goal as a VTuber. I wanted to appear on Sailor Taylor, the hit, the hit streaming series. When is Sailor Taylor gonna be on Netflix? They should give me a reality show. Like, you know, those, um... Also, Netflix has so many really bad reality shows. They have like the the Marie Kondo one on there. I watched that with my friend one time because we were really bored at her house. And I was like, you know what? Let's watch the Marie Kondo like cleaning up thing. And it was, and like it it really wasn't even interesting. Like I I thought that it would be fun to watch people clean, but it wasn't even that exciting to be completely honest with you. <laughs> Give Lara one hour of her episode. <laughs> <laughs> Netflix original, the duck pond. Nah, you know what? I think we should make our own streaming service. Since Duck Friend is like a monopoly already anyway, we got the Duck Friends records. I'm very obviously under the Duck Friends VTubing agency. That's that's where I work. I'm the CEO of the Duck Friend VTuber agency. Auditions are open. We do not pay you, you pay us. We will keep 99% of your revenue. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so headphones, right? 
Headphones are like essential part. Headphones and microphone. That's like what every old school Vocaloid design has. <clears throat> so like Niji Sash. We don't talk about that here, Mr. E. <laughs> Hello, how are you? How was your weekend? Hmm. I turned off my um, cheek puff parameter because I just I couldn't fix it. For some reason, it was just freaking out. So I guess I can't puff my cheeks anymore ever again. Oh, let me move you, Mr. E. You're alone on your side there. Hang out with the others. <clears throat> I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> well, you see, not, not everybody here has matters. <laughs> Could be better or no. It's okay. My weekend wasn't super exciting either. I'm not gonna lie. I think I've spent the past week... Um... Just like looking at the Gundam box. <laughs> and being like, soon. Soon I'm gonna build it. <laughs> That's all I've been doing. Literally nothing else. I've just been like... I kind of I want to build it soon. I should have said that said that for Wednesday or something, man. I should have just built the Gundam today, but I was like, man, it's been so long since I've done Sailor Taylor though. I gotta get back to that stuff. So yeah. Hey, look it out. But thank you so much for the super chat. Hi there, hi everyone. Sorry I can't join you today. I have bad sinus infection and hurts very bad. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <gasps> you get lots of rest, okay, Gerardo? Oh wow, I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, go get some rest. Mm -hmm. I woke up so bad, I feel that Lara isn't real. <laughs> Because I'm not. I really am not real. <clears throat> like, what do you mean? Okay, what if I gave him little hair clips? I should probably get, like, the overall silhouette done before I start doing silly little details. But the hair clips, though? The hair clips stay, I think. Bye-bye, Gerardo. I hope you feel better soon. Get lots of rest. You shouldn't... You shouldn't mess around with those kind of infections. They can get really like bad and out of hand quickly, so definitely gotta treat that properly. Hello Kiki, how are you? I'm making a vocaloid design because I can. Hmm, let's see. Maybe like some kind of I don't know, like, I'm desperately trying not to make it Lenkagamine coded. But do I even know anything else in this life? You, you know, it's like... Can I make something that's not Lenkagamine coded? Probably not. <laughs> I'm doing good, hope you know everyone else in chat is doing good. I'm alright. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just, I haven't really had much going on. <laughs> As I said before, all I've been thinking was building, was building the Gundam. <laughs> I've been like watching videos. I fell really deep into the rabbit hole. And I don't know, I feel like some people take it a little bit too seriously. Maybe I will even hate building the first one. I don't know. I hope so. Because then I, I won't have to spend any more money on it. Um, but yeah, I kind of fell into this rabbit hole of like watching people who are really into the hobby kind of explain how they do stuff. Because, I don't know, I just wanted to see if there is any advice on things. And um, I don't know, some people take it so seriously. They got like special pens that they used to like i don't fucking know paint the little gaps in on on the gundams to give it like an outline i don't know there was like there was a lot going on there but i didn't really understand <laughs> i was i was like what 
But why? <laughs> Apparently you don't have to paint them. Like you never actually have to paint them. It's just that some people are really hardcore and they do it anyway. Which is fair enough. Hopefully I won't be that crazy about it. Please. Please God. I hope I hate it. I'm praying. I'm praying that I hate it. But also, I don't know if I'll hate it. <laughs> there are much that need to be longer than three minutes. I know, right? To be fair, I was picking the shortest videos out of them all. Look, if it's not a five hour long The Last of Us essay, I'm not gonna watch it. Okay? Like, sue me. I don't care. The, your video is too long if it's not about The Last of Us. <laughs> As long as soon as it's not about the last of us, it's automatically too long if it's longer than three minutes. I don't make the rules, it's just how it is. But yeah, I actually I kept picking the shortest one I, I could find. <laughs> like I was clicking on those videos and I'd be like, okay, this one is like five minutes long, that's okay. Sometimes they're so long and I was like, come on man. Surely you can explain how to build a Gundam in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the attention span. The attention span is non-existent at this point. Is anyone surprised? <clears throat> you and the last of us, to be fair, I'm the same way with Minecraft videos. But Zon, you play Minecraft for like 10 hours a day. When do you have the time to watch the videos? Do you watch the videos while you play the Minecraft? You see, that's dedication because I don't watch The Last of Us videos while I play The Last of Us. I watch them while I draw or something like that. <laughs> and then maybe I will just make it a vest. And then some kind of gloves would be cool. Or is that is that too much? I know I'm going for like an old school Vocaloid design, but is that still too much? <laughs> Zone has a live out of Minecraft. No, it's clearly just it's clearly just Minecraft videos. When Zone doesn't play Minecraft, he watches ten hour long Minecraft videos. It's been confirmed. <laughs> Every time I send a video explaining something, we're currently talking about Lara. I'm not watching that. I'm not watching that. It's too long. If you can't make your point in three minutes, then you can't make your point. I'm sorry. Hello, Aaron. How are you? <clears throat> has Vocalist is so long that there's an old school style? Bestie, Vocalist has existed since like 2003 or something like that. Vocaloid is old, like the software itself, at least. And then, like, if we if we're going from like Hatsune Miku time, which is you know she kind of created the popularity and like the culture around it. So if we only go off of that, that's still over ten years now. Two thousand and four, yeah, I was close. I was close enough. I said I said like two thousand and three. <clears throat> Trick her into watching the video by saying just watch the first minute. <laughs> oh my god, I was watching a Gundam video today. You guys, I was watching a Gundam video today and I thought I was safe, you know? I was, I was, um, kind of lulled into this false sense of security. I was feeling safe. And then halfway through the video, the Gundam guy, who's been really chill, explaining how to build it, how to paint it, whatever, just goes, This video is sponsored by Manscaped! <laughs> and I was like... <gasps> and he takes out the box! And then in reverb, he goes... Hairless balls. <laughs> that was 
Um, that was my first time seeing a Manscape ad. Like, I've never in my life come across them before. That was genuinely my first time, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Is this what happens when you get into, like, a mostly male hobby? Is this what it is? Because whenever I see like sponsorships on other stuff I watch, normally it's something like, I don't know, Hello Fresh. But. <laughs> <laughs> like, I actually was. I actually was sitting there like, huh? <laughs> you weren't the demographic for that video? I really wasn't. Clearly, I was not. I don't know. I. <laughs> I, I genuinely, I felt like, I was like, should I be watching this? <laughs> I was standing there like, is this okay for me to watch? Is, should I leave and let him like do the, the ad and then I'll come back? I don't know. It felt wrong. Okay, right? It just, it just felt so wrong. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> So yeah, I guess that happened. Not happy about that. Maybe I shouldn't get into the hobby. Clearly. Clearly I'm not the demographic for the entire Gundam. Gundam hobby. You guys don't skip ads. I mean, like, yeah, usually if it's like a sponsored thingy, I just like kind of skip through the video. To see like when they stop. Some of them are been polite enough and they put like a timestamp on where it stops, which is really helpful. But I was just so shocked. I was just so sincerely shocked that I saw it. <laughs> I just froze. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Fucking Gondoms, man. Who would have fought, right? Now, what kind of shoes? I don't know, I kind of like the big pants. I think it's cool. I don't know if that really fits the style, but I think kind of like white pants would look cool. Maybe like a different belt though, I don't know. How did you learn to watch ad say it's my escape? I was just really shocked, okay? Leave me alone. I have never seen them before. I've only heard people joke about them and be like, oh my god, the Manscape ad, but I've never actually seen them myself. I don't know how, but I somehow dodged them until today. So it was my first exposure to it, all right? I was just really shocked. I couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> It just happened. <clears throat> this stream is sponsored by Opera GX. <laughs> Truly. Maybe like one of those... ...kind of boots. I, sh I really am not prepared enough for this today. I... I don't like to admit it, but I did. Ah! My pen fell. No, come back. I'm, I'm very underprepared today. And it's completely my fault. Because I spent the first half of my day uh, burning my breakfast, and my apartment still smells like it. And I spent the other half of my day. Wait, there's only two halves. I spent a third of my day burning my breakfast, then the other third watching Gundam videos and drawing commissions. And then I was like, man, I gotta get this stream prepared. So, <laughs> so I drew the base really quickly. <clears throat> no! Stop copy pasting ads in my chat! <laughs> no, I don't want the ads in my chat, you guys. What the fuck? <laughs> you can't just write. You can't just write this here. <laughs> I hate it here. I actually hate it here. <clears throat> Mm 
the video you sent me about the book review, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, she does! Yeah, there was like an ad. I swear to god, like, I didn't know they were even allowed to advertise stuff like that on YouTube. I don't know why, but like, people be wilding. <laughs> <laughs> I it's true I was watching this book review video and I sent it to nonsense and like the girl like was sponsored by like an adult toy and I was like huh I also was like what and funnily enough I was watching another YouTuber later and it was like a video on something completely unrelated as well there what it was but she also like pulled it out and I was like huh <laughs> <laughs> it's either Manscaped or that. Pick your poison, I guess. I guess we're not getting sponsored by... I don't fucking know. What is it that people normally get sponsored by before? VPN? I guess NordVPN is just not hip with the kids anymore. Have you heard of the award-winning MMORPG? Oh yeah, whatever happened to Raid Shadow Legends? Whatever happened to Raid Shadow Legends? That was... That was a good time. We all had a good time when people advertised Raid Shadow Legends, right? These YouTubers got the heat. I mean, yeah, yeah, I can't blame them for that, but like... <laughs> I didn't even know you were allowed to advertise that kind of stuff on YouTube. I had no idea. <clears throat> I'm gonna over here Adam and Eve as in a hero about to mask <laughs> <laughs> oh, good guy. Yeah, I guess that's a thing now. Screw Rage, I just got sponsored by them once and it was awful. Yeah, they never paid you, right, Zone? Like, you actually got sponsored by them and then they never paid you. That's crazy, honestly. Oh my god, a tie. That's what I need. A tie. Oh. <gasps> That's it. I was like, man, what is it? What is it that's like classic Vocaloid that you can put on a design? A tie, guys. I figured it out. That's it, besties. We got the Hatsune Miku Shin here. Now it just looks like a Mikuo design, and that's fine. I'm cool with that. Gamer, the yeah, gamer stops. It's like a big one. All the VTubers. I swear to God, like every single VTuber I know is sponsored by gamer subs. He looks more and more like Len every second. Yeah. I told you it was going to be Len coded from the start. I'm sorry. I just, I can't control myself. I'm... I'm a Len girly. Okay, it's just... <laughs> Looking like Len is a good thing. That's debatable. The cyber cat outfit. Honestly, hell yeah. Slay. It's fine, guys. He's not here. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> Shin, is, Shin is not here to tell us what to do. So it's okay. We can do whatever the, the hell we want. And I am vibing with this. Just needs to a bit more detail, I think. It's not really that detailed at the moment. <clears throat> we stand well, but have you heard of Teto? There it is. The Teto propaganda from Horin. <laughs> <clears throat> I was getting big owl vibes earlier. I guess it has big owl vibes too. I'm really just making like the Vocaloid um, Chimera here or something. <laughs> Don't break that on the traitor! Oh my god. Minami, you gotta admit at this point that you're the traitor. <laughs> Minami, you're the traitor. You were the traitor all along. Oh yeah, I guess another thing that happened... Oh my god. Um, so I decided to test out the Instagram Reels meta. 
right? So Instagram real videos, because you know how everybody wants to be, um, everybody wants to be TikTok so bad. Instagram has been especially wanting to be TikTok lately to the point where they just don't give a fuck about your um like image posts they just don't care right they're like no who the fuck gives a shit stop it with these images they're boring and they don't capture attention of the of the i don't know zoomers or whatever so i was like you know what i'm gonna test it out i'm gonna make a real I'm gonna make a really simple, like, Clip Studio tutorial. I made this fucking Clip Studio tutorial. It was like 10 seconds long, I swear to God. It was super simple. It was literally something like, draw a bunch of dots and then use the motion blur on them and it makes rain. I was like, that's how you draw rain. That's how you fucking draw rain. I got like 90,000 views. <laughs> Last time I looked at it, it was at nine ninety thousand nine zero guys. Okay, I was like, "There's no way. There's no way that actually worked." And everybody, bro, everybody in the comment section was acting like I just uncovered some kind of ancient secrets of the universe they were like oh my god i would have never thought of this i was like huh how do you guys draw rain like genuinely asking how do you people how have you guys been drawing rain this entire time well have you just been like drawing it drop by drop that's that can't be true hello daniel welcome <laughs> oh no Gilardo got the star i'm sorry nonsense they're not chickens! Goddamn. When are we gonna get a Lara TikTok? No, thank you, man. Bro, I can't even make Instagram reels. Like, it's it's too much. It's too much work. And I already spent so much time making shit like YouTube shorts. And all of that. I guess the YouTube shorts could technically also go on TikTok. But I don't know, man. Honestly. I just feel like it's too much work to stay across all of those platforms because they all apparently cannot decide to do their own thing and they all want to be each other. It's actually such a fucking... It's such a fucking nightmare. <clears throat> okay, let's see. What else? I got headphones. I got hair clips. I got a tie. I don't really like the shoes. I think I'm gonna redo the shoes. They don't look that good. What kind of shoes would go with pants like that? I feel like trainers would look a bit weird with that. Should it just be like super simple shoes? I don't know. Because I feel like boots would look kind of strange with these kind of pants, right? I guess trainers kind of look okay. Mm -hmm. YouTube shorts teaching how to draw. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird because I already want to like... Like, okay, so... It's, I can't really post my YouTube short content as Instagram reels, right? Because my Instagram is an art account. Is already related to my YouTube bank. But then like if I started posting the art reels on YouTube shorts, I feel like that also would be weird because while I do art on here, it's not like an art tutorial channel. I feel like I'm just gonna end up with really mixed audiences that like subscribe for some for some like random reel or short video and then like I never do that again. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's really strange. That's why I haven't really been like making both because I'm like, I don't have time to make both and they don't really like overlap that well. So I don't know. I actually don't know. I've just been like sitting on it and uh, thinking well i guess i ever make the youtube shorts or the instagram reels but i think at least youtube shorts are monetized for me <laughs> i know instagram monetizes reels 
Um, but I don't know how to do it, or if I'm even qualified. Without you next to me, look at me now, without you to deep end. Maybe like one of those shoes, kind of like what Miku has, that we all thought were boots, but they're not, you know. I don't know what they're called. <clears throat> Number something rule of YouTube, don't split your audience. Yeah, it's really a bad idea. I'm already like kind of like, I don't know. I really want to make more art content for um, this channel. Because I do enjoy making that kind of stuff. But I also kind of, I don't know, I still want to keep it like re I don't know, not like completely relevant, but like somewhat relevant to VTubing. So if I started making like art tutorials where it's just me drawing some rain, I feel like it wouldn't make any sense. So it would either have to like actually have me like talking in it with a VTuber model or something like that. I don't know. I'm telling you, it's too much work. The iron boots. No, we've, we've spoken about this, guys. Miku doesn't wear long boots. She's wearing short, kind of like loafer shoes with with really long socks. We've been over this, guys. This isn't anything new. Come on. But yeah, I don't know. I know people are here just for the video games. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I know, I know, you think I don't notice which ones of you only come to the video game streams? You think I don't keep tabs on that? <laughs> you think I don't know which ones of you don't come on Wednesdays? <laughs> no, don't mass bomb, they didn't all deserve that. The Wednesday audience didn't deserve this. No, my Wednesday audience! R.I.P. <laughs> Just saw your Instagram short about drawing rain, I never thought of that. Have I actually, like, uncovered, like, how to draw rain? Have you guys genuinely never thought of drawing rain like that? What? how have you guys been drawing your rain? Like, I've had that technique for years. It's not like I just came up with that yesterday. Like, I've done that before so many times. How have you guys never drawn your rain like that? Minimum, you can only bomb on Fridays. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you just spread the tent of propaganda. <clears throat> Wednesday streams are the best streams. <laughs> And then she goes slots 1000. I'm just here for the last of us. And that's the correct way. That's the correct way to consume my content. <laughs> that is the only right way to watch Valera VTube channel. Bro, I'm giving up on these shoes. I'm giving up on these shoes. And I am making him barefoot. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but I'm this close. <clears throat> I'm doing news clips with you. How am I supposed to draw my right now? I guess you're gonna have to draw it like this. Line by line. What can I tell you? Have fun, loser. Have fun drawing your rain, not the Lucinda Gray way. Lucinda Gray, the inventor of rain drawing. Slippers. That wouldn't really work. I just need like a good reference. For like a nice pair of shoes, you know what I mean? I just don't really have any saved. Bro, I still get fucking wrestling pictures on my um Pinterest since the Horin's uh outfit design. <laughs> like to this day, I'm still getting <laughs> like a wrestling wrestlers. <laughs> uh, Pinterest is such a funky place. Sometimes you will just keep getting the same thing like over and over again. Like, I don't want to give up on the pants because I kind of like the pants, you know. 
But I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no clue what kind of shoes go with these kind of pants. As you shoe there. Oh my god. Give him boots? But then they would go like under the pants. Would that not look weird? Like if I just gave him like normal boots kind of thing, I don't know, something like that. Then they would like go under the pants. So that looks strange. With like I feel like it looks weird. Maybe no hills. Maybe just like platforms. I feel like it still looks weird. <clears throat> Toes out! No! <laughs> Crocs! That wouldn't look weird. I'm doing it right now and it looks weird. So you don't know anything about fashion. Your Splatoon character is still wearing the default t-shirt that you're birthed into the world in. Okay, like, so I'm not taking fashion advice, ad ad advice from you. Like, that's... Mm -mm. Maybe, maybe get your Splatoon character dressed up first. And then talk to me about fashion, alright? Like, mm -mm. I'm not taking any of this. Zona's wearing his birthday suit. It's Splatoon, yeah. It's embarrassing, bestie. Get yourself some clothes. Surely you have some money to spend on the clothes. It's not that difficult to earn that coin in Splatoon. You know, just play some levels. Jeez. <clears throat> Zona's naked in Splatoon. <laughs> <laughs> As she walks by You know what, I think these kind of like, I don't know, weird like boot whatever shoes are fine They look the best out of everything I tried, so I'm just gonna do that These are very Vocaloid shoes. <clears throat> Strip ball shoes, what even- what does that even look like? These are not boots, Zone! These are not like boots, boots. These are like, I don't know, loafers or whatever they're called. But these are not boots, boots, okay? Do not try to gaslight me. You don't know anything about fashion. Unbelievable. Let's see. Kind of want to add some more detail, though. I feel like the little hanging belt will be nice. <clears throat> I know plenty about fashion. Oh yeah, name every style. <laughs> Go ahead. No manifest your fears. Maybe some kind of like, I don't know, I kinda, I'm tempted to do those like, like those Vocaloid sleeves, you know? Because I just think they look funky. The Vocaloid sleeves have been like one of my favorite design things about Vocaloids forever. Like it always like weird sleeves they give them. I don't know, they just make me happy. They just do. Or maybe like asymmetrical, like one is a sleeve and then one is like a short glove. I miss the era when they would just give all the fucking Vocaloids those kind of weird sleeves. Or maybe you could make it transparent. Oh my god, the transparent ones are so satisfying too. 
I don't know. We should bring this back. We should bring old school Vocaloid fashion back. <clears throat> Jesse, we need to design more Balenciaga. <laughs> that, that video was my favorite video for so long. Like, I actually could not stop rewatching it. I. <laughs> I can't believe Shin is on V6. He should be on Sim for me. You know what, guys? I know what I should do. I should become your favorite AI generator. Okay, but like, that's using AI for stupid memes. Okay, like, I don't mind it when people use AI to make stupid memes. Also, like, a person still thought of that, you know? The AI on its own could have never come up with Breaking Bad Balenciaga. That's the on only a human mind could could really birth something this beautiful. I'm just saying. But at the moment, my favorite video is that one video of um, the slug approaching a water drop. And he just gets absorbed into it and it goes wow. <laughs> Evolution! You're at school? Hello, I'm turning you into a Vocaloid. I'm so sorry. I'm turning you into a 2007 Vocaloid. <laughs> Breaking Balenciaga. <laughs> I don't know, I think that was just so funny. <clears throat> I bet you would do me a walk award. Oh god, he knew. He knew what I was doing. He was like, oh god, what if I walk in there and she's turned me into a vocaloid? And then I actually did. <laughs> Shit, why is your icon Sonic kissing Kermit? I need answers. That's true. Shin, why is your Twitter icon Sonic kissing Kermit? We all need to know. It's really important. <laughs> and I move Shin's duck. It's all alone on that side. <laughs> because culture. Yeah, I think that's pretty all right. I kind of maybe I want to make the headphones a bit more interesting. I don't know. What if the headphones were sillier? What if we can... Can we make the headphones sillier? Like, rounder? <clears throat> I lose a challenge and that's why... <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of thought... Maybe it was like a bet or something like that. <laughs> that sounds about right. I think VTubers like very commonly do stuff like profile picture changes for um for things like subathons and stuff like that as well. <laughs> to figure it out. Hearts broken, the railways open. Hearts broken. <laughs> There you go. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe one of those headphones would go like back. Maybe I'll just do the normal. <clears throat> It'll be back to normal next week. <laughs> huh? But why? You should totally keep it. I think it I think it looks great. I think it really works. It really shows your essence. <laughs> when the next Synth V comes out, we'll put I can't believe it came out on Synth V when it should be on V6. Maybe to see the world burn. You guys gotta let go of like the the the, the vocal synth community drama. 
You guys will be so much happier if you just don't look at it. I pro I promise you. Like, I've been not paying any attention to that whole thing, and I've been so happy. Like, you guys, you guys gotta let it go. Trust me. Trust me, it feels so much better when you just don't worry about it. It's either that, or do you guys think I should become a vocal synth drama channel? I think there is some real untapped market in it. It's like, you know, those VTuber drama channels that talk about, like, VTuber news. I think I should become a vocal synth drama channel. I'm gonna be like, the fans, the fans are fighting over which engine the newest voice bank should be. Should it be V6 or synth V? <laughs> And then, gonna, and then I'm gonna be getting death threats in the comments, like, <laughs> from the, from the, I don't fucking know, Tetosin V stands. <laughs> you should, there's a lack of vocal synth podcast. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna be like that attorney guy. It's been so sad to watch that attorney man fall from grace. Like, he's got some real Saul Goodman vibes. Because, like, it all started off okay, but now he's just digging up, like, years old VTuber drama and talking about it for hours and hours. Like, how many hours did he fucking spend talking about the Niji Sanji thing? Like, I'm, I, was just, I was just sitting there like, man, imagine you study law. Imagine you study law, you become, you become a lawyer. And then you're like, I it's time to discuss VTuber drama on the internet for 10 hours. I honestly, I, I could not believe what I was seeing. <laughs> so, you know, I think, I think since there's a market for that kind of stuff, I should go, I should just do it. I can be the new false, um, false ID. I can be the false ID of Vocaloid. My son, the light. Okay, I'm gonna design the second outfit. And then I'm gonna... Um, start, like, coloring them. <laughs> no! Anyways, here are the latest Vocaloid songs. <laughs> Yeah, then I would have like some recommendations, you know, some kind of positivity. It's gonna be like this like really toxic news video and then at the end I'm gonna be like, anyways, so here are some small producer spotlights. <laughs> here are some small vocal producers you can support. <laughs> <laughs> After I like, go for like all the Twitter drama, I'm like, by the way, here's here's Alter P. <laughs> uh, I will talk trash about vocal sims myself. Uh, and other news, Alter P hasn't posted the sauces last year. Yeah, that's the breaking news, honestly. Okay, for the second outfit, I'm gonna make something less unhinged, you know? Something... Something more low-key. Something that actually looks good. You see, I gotta practice my, like, more masculine designs for Sailor Taylor. Because most of the ones I've done so far have been, like, very feminine. And... I think it's very evident that I suck at designing for dudes. But in my defense, men just don't dress very interesting. Whenever I look on Pinterest for anything that's like male fashion, it's always like the same fucking shit. And whenever it's like anime boy or like VTuber male fashion, it's always like tech wear, cyberpunk kind of look. And I'm like, if I see one more... If I see one more, like, one of those, like, tech wear jackets on a male VTuber, I'm gonna explode. I'm actually gonna explode, okay? Like, I... 
I need, I need nicer outfits on dudes, please. <laughs> wow, okay. Show me a wardrobe. Show me a wardrobe right now. And then I'm gonna, I, and, I'm, and then like, once I get evidence that you can dress, then I, then, then we'll talk. <laughs> you guys gotta follow Derek. All right, do you guys know Derek? Oh my God, he's the best. He's my favorite Twitter account, like for real, for real. He's this guy on Twitter who's really obsessed with like male fashion. And he's always like making super niche posts about like <laughs> how to dress nicely and how to like make if a suit, I don't know if a suit fits, stuff like that. Like it's like extremely just like super like niche male fashion kind of stuff and like i eat that shit up he's so much fun he makes like banger posts sometimes because he sometimes like also like just like makes stupid jokes and i'm like yeah this man is my favorite account honestly no notes absolutely no notes you know what i'm gonna put shin in a turtleneck because men look so good in turtlenecks okay um <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. It's just how it is. <clears throat> yeah, Derek the fashion guy. I just, I don't know. I love him. I love how whenever my favorite thing is that everybody kind of knows him as the fashion guy. So sometimes when someone does some kind of like take about fashion or post something about fashion, everybody just starts like tagging him in the replies. <laughs> everybody just goes to the replies and they're like, "Aight, it's time to tag Derek the fashion guy." <laughs> Do you guys Shin is still watching? And if he's not, can I give him, like, cat ears? How... How bad would it be if I gave him... Well, it would be a hat with cat ears, you know? It's not like cat ears, cat ears. It's a hat with cat ears. That's different, right? Guys? It, he's, he's in class. He won't know. <laughs> If we give you a cat ears hat, look at that. Like, you know one of those, like, baseball caps, but they have cat ears? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just brainstorming here. We don't have to settle on it. But consider it. <laughs> this is the height of male fashion. <laughs> or maybe, like, a hoodie. With cat ears. This is how men should dress. <laughs> cat ear. Cat ear hoodies. Guys, this is it. This is peak. <laughs> oh, I should stop. I should stop before, um... I gotta, I gotta control myself. I still need Shin to put in a good word for me to Marvin Valentine. I still gotta convince Shin to tell Marvin Valentine how talented of an artist I am and how he should hire me. I gotta control myself until that day at least, and then after that I can go crazy, I think. I think that will be fair enough, right guys? <laughs> Man, I'm just looking at Pinterest and it's just, it's all just like, like sweatshirts and pants with like lots of pockets. I just like, there's nothing going on. Hoodies. I'm kind of settled on, on the turtleneck though, so I kind of want to come up with something to fit it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Maybe some kind of really weird, funky jacket. I don't know. Stance, dance. <clears throat> I'm so scared of coming across like AI generated art on Pinterest too. I mean, I'm gonna click on it, and my Pinterest recommendations is going to be all AI. So far, it's not too bad, but I'm really scared. I'm gonna go see how I stream, everyone. Have a good night, nonsense. Bye bye. Bro, all I'm getting is fucking techware on this. God damn website! <laughs> can't... Can't guys wear... Something else? Please. Okay, what if we did like a jacket? Like, you know what kind of jackets that hang on your shoulders? Make you look really badass? Maybe something like that. Wait, hold up. I think I'm cooking. I think I'm actually cooking something there. Hold up. <laughs> Finally. What about jazz fit? What's a jazz fit? What does that look like? Like one of those tight belts as well. It's very elegant. I can't believe I did one, like, Vocaloid outfit. I mean, I'm going for this like super elegant look for the second one. Honestly, slay. <laughs> Why not? Why the hell not? You know, sometimes, sometimes you gotta have range. I'm just saying, it's not bad to have range. Let her cook. Oh no, he is still here. Shin, how do you feel about cat ears? That still is a very real possibility, I'm just saying. <clears throat> now he looks like the guy from Frieren. Honestly, yeah. I I I can get behind that. I love Frieren. There's only one episode left of Frieren! Uh, what am I gonna do without it? I don't want to read the manga. <laughs> I can't read. I say like I haven't been watching it with subtitles this entire time. It's, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, it was low gloves. And you guys know like those gloves that are like really low like this. I don't know why, but that's so sexy. I don't know how to explain it. But it's just sexier than like normal gloves when it covers the whole hand. That's not sexy. But this? I don't know. There's just something about it. Read the manga like the rest of us. I don't want to. I don't like reading manga. I don't know why. Because I read books fine. But then for some reason I cannot be bothered to read manga. There's just some... I don't know. I only used to read manga back when I was in school and I would just read it in class. I would be like on my laptop pretending to be working and I'd be reading manga. That's the only time. <laughs> I do need something... Like something on the shirt. I don't know. I don't you know yet what. But I guess let's figure out the pants first. We gotta do the silhouette. You gotta do the silhouette and then you do the details because then it gets really confusing. I gotta remind myself of that. But I am sticking with um with a turtleneck. I made up my mind about that one. 
So maybe like boots on a zipper? Haven't drawn those in a while. <laughs> Gloves that show your palms, how scandalous, I know. I'm sorry. Boots with the furry? <laughs> My break horse song just crashed. Oh no. <laughs> when did you last save it? Honestly, lever pants. Fuck it. Fuck it, lever pants. I said it and I meant it. <laughs> we are eating well today. <laughs> yeah, why not? Did I stutter, Minami? Did I fucking stutter? This is my outfit design stream. I do what I want. And I want lever pants. You cannot stop me. Hmm, now what I put on the shirt though? And I still want something on the head. Like, I don't know, some kind of accessory would be nice. Lever is so sweaty, but it's fine. He's an anime boy. It doesn't matter. Anime boys don't sweat. It's okay. Mm -hmm. A lever shirt. No, we're all gonna put him all in lever. I'm still hoping he'd put a good word in for me. To Marvin Valentine. <laughs> oh no, Nolten's won the jump catch game and she just left. Actually, maybe some kind of like necklaces would be nice. Oh yeah, I think necklaces is good. Hmm. Yeah, and I like the belt, but I feel like it doesn't really fit with like the vibe of the rest of the outfit anymore. So I'm gonna do like a different, like a different belt. <laughs> lever necklace. What are you talking about? Not everything has to be lever just because one part is. Jeez, Minami. What is going on with you? Just normal necklace. What the hell? Maybe like a belt of those like lots of stuff hanging from it. That's always cute. So you guys, this is why I need to practice male fashion more. I don't know what to make them wear half of the time. But I also don't want to like completely ignore it, you know? I feel kind of bad. I, ha I had like quite a few guys apply for the Sailor Taylor thing and I was like, oh, ho, ho. I don't know how, I don't know how I would draw you. <laughs> a diamond necklace? What? Why? With this outfit? You guys are the worst. You guys don't know anything about fashion, for real, for real. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of had maybe I could make him. I don't know, bro. There's so much yakuza art as well on my fucking Pinterest. Somebody save me from this hell. I need to make a new Pinterest or something to stop getting all of this stuff in my feed. It's just <laughs> it's like ninety percent yakuza in here sometimes. How do I get rid of this curse? I love Yakuza, but sometimes I'm trying to look at outfits. And it's like, here's some Yakuza fan art. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. Mm -hmm. 
I would have great fashion if I had a skirt. Oh my god. Didn't I give you a skirt when I did you for Sailor Taylor or Lucas? Skirts do go hard. I I used to for the longest time I didn't wear pants like at all. I had this phase in my life for a really long time where I just did not wear pants. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was like, reject pants. Don't wear them. Forget about them. <laughs> you know? No, I only wore skirts. I legit only wore skirts and dresses for, I think, like a solid two years. I think for a solid two years, I was like, no, I don't want to wear pants. I only wore skirts and dresses. But then I moved to London <laughs> and it was cold. <laughs> like in Spain, in Spain you can kind of survive never wearing pants and just wearing skirts and ties all winter. But in London, no way. And that's how London forced me into wearing jeans again. <laughs> And that's how I started wearing jeans again. It's all London's fault. Screw this city. A miracle that you serve. Actually, I'm gonna make the shirt a bit more like a tight fit because I think it'll look better. <clears throat> Wait, but I don't mean no pads, is not like. As in, like, I didn't wear anything. I wore skirts still, guys. Come on. Don't just go no wild there. You didn't wear any pants. Obviously, that's not what I mean. Come on. What the hell? I have never worn a skirt, actually. How is... What? Really? I'm gonna give him a watch. I, like, only wore skirts and dresses for a very long time. I don't know. I just... I just didn't vibe with pants. I still don't really vibe with them. Like, they're more comfortable. I do admit it that they're comfortable. So I wear them, like, for comfort. And if I can't really be bothered to, like, get dressed or whatever. But, like, oh, man. I kind of miss the era where I only wore dresses. <laughs> I'm scared to be the car now. I do wear pants! <laughs> Stop! You're twisting... You're twisting the story to make your own weird narrative. You're missing you're misinterpreting what I'm saying on purpose. Ah, ah. I recently have a jean sock. They feel horrible on my skin. I don't really like wearing jeans. I don't know. I okay, I don't wear blue jeans like at all. <laughs> Legit, I legit like never wear blue jeans. I don't own any blue jeans. I only wear like black, gray, I have pink and yellow as well. Anything but blue. I don't know why. It's a statement. What am I stating? I have no idea. I think I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to rebel somehow against the fact that I have to wear pants now. But like, yeah, I don't... I don't wear I don't wear blue jeans. That's too basic. I'm not a basic bitch. <laughs> if oppressed with Lyra didn't wear pants for two years, not click pay. Oh my god, imagine. If if bro, if if someone actually made like a video like that, Imagine the clicks it would get. Because you know it was like really clickbait VTuber clips. And then you click on it and it's like nothing of what the thumbnail or title told you. It's like that. It would totally be like that. What should he wear in his head? I feel like there needs to be something, right? I don't know. But like I feel like a hat... I don't know what kind of hat would work with this. Should I just give him like nothing? Just... Just hair. Should wear leather hair. <laughs> Stop. Damn, Minami really, Minami really hates the the leather pants idea. But it's a shame that if this is my drawing and I can do what I want, I'm giving him pigtails. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just doing it. 
<laughs> Look, guys. How beautiful is that? I'm just joking. Please. <laughs> the way... Bro, I did that so automatically. I wasn't even thinking about it. I genuinely was just... I was just doing it just now. I was not thinking at all. <laughs> Something just jumped out of me and just... My hands just drew the pigtails on their own. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Shan, if you're looking. I don't know. I feel like a hat wouldn't really work, right? No, not the pigtails. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it alone. Bold! You are cooking! <laughs> oh my god. The urge to give him demon horns. I have this urge to give everybody demon horns, not gonna lie. That's kind of like... It looks good! Like, look at that! It looks so good with demon horns. Everybody looks good with demon horns. I don't know. I just feel like it just, they just suit anyone. You can put demon horns on any design and it will automatically become so much better. Right? I kind of want to keep it. I'm going to keep it. It's okay. It's okay. I'm keeping it. Anyways, let's start coloring and lining. <laughs> Is he a bad boy in this outfit? He's always a bad boy, Minami. Come on. <laughs> the Shinkikuchi bad boy era started since day one. I don't know how you didn't recognize that already. <laughs> mm, Vocaloid outfit. <laughs> okay again i'm not great at the at the at like more masculine outfits so it's fine this is just practice maybe after i do like 50 of them we'll cook something good someday <laughs> someday but i need help i need men to start dressing well you guys i cannot do it without their help because my Pinterest, all the Pinterest boards with male fashion just look the same. We need something more cool. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe the tank top was kind of a mistake, but... I already committed. It's fine. You know, I don't really go back. I don't really go back on my word once I commit to something, so... It's too late. <laughs> it's just how I already committed to the karaoke on Friday and then it was too late, you know? Sometimes it really just be like that. <laughs> Man, I wanted to edit some clips so badly, but I just... I don't know why, but my wrist was hurting so much this weekend. You know... I really wish, I really wish I could just like... I don't know, like try because like, my wrist doesn't hurt. When I draw, for example, I'm perfectly fine drawing. It's just specifically using the mouse. So the question is, can I edit videos with my tablet? <laughs> my new video editing era, where I edit everything. I, <laughs> I use it all with a Vacom tablet. The YouTuber clip editing with the fucking... Well, you know, people play things like Osu with tablets, right? They buy tablets specifically to play Rhythm games. So why can't you edit videos with it? Maybe... Who knows? Maybe it's the next convenient way of editing. Because I don't know, man. 
I already have an ergonomic mouse. Like, I sit properly at my desk on per for this specific purpose. And then I will use the mouse, like, to do something really stupid or and basic, like, scroll down Twitter. And it starts hurting. And I'm like, I'm just using the scrolling wheel. I'm not even doing any complex actions. Why does it hurt? I don't get it. Hello, Dr. Frederick. How are you? Are you winning this art stream, Lara? I'm always winning the art stream. Even if everybody disagrees with my fashion choices, as always. Even if people tell me, no, Lara. You should never make him wear leather. I don't care. <clears throat> I'd get the Elon brain chip if I could edit videos with my mind. My wrist hurting me too, bestie, but I am not getting that chip. <laughs> I feel like the brand chip is it's still not worth it. But I appreciate the dedication, though. Honestly, at least you're dedicated to your craft. <laughs> I know what's your favorite FPS games so a tablet. Really? Okay, but that kind of stuff you can play with a controller. Or I guess, no, I guess people don't do FPS with controllers very much, right? Yeah, I can't play games with a mouse at all anymore. I have to play pretty much anything with a controller or otherwise, once again, I get wrist pain. I'm just, I wasn't born to be a, a mouse user. <laughs> Clearly, like... I was born to be a princess and everybody should just do the work for me. <laughs> but for some reason, while I did definitely get the weak wrists of a princess, I didn't get the finances of one. <laughs> Controller gang gang except for Baldur's Gate. Well, Baldur's Gate barely has any gameplay, so that's understandable. Lara will never miss an opportunity to slander Baldur's Gate. But in my defense, you guys are the ones who keep bringing it up, so... It's kind of on you for constantly letting me slander it. Excuse me? <laughs> what is the gameplay of Baldur's Gate? Choose the dialogue options? Like, come on. A wrist brace helps. Does it actually help? People have been telling me to just get one. I really am wondering if I just should, because I don't know. I seriously cannot do a lot of my computer anymore. I, like, I don't know, like, it gets better after a while. So if I take, like, a, a few days of rest, it kind of goes away and then I'm fine. But then if I end up using my computer a lot, it comes back and then I have to, like, rest it for a few more days again. But I'm like, man, like, someday I just won't be able to afford resting it. Like, what if I really need to 3D model something or something like that? <clears throat> You play The Last of Us. What does The Last of Us have to do with this? Bitch, The Last of Us is a survivor horror game. How dare you speak to me like that? Think about your actions. Think about your actions and come back, okay? You have a one minute timeout. Think about your actions and come back. <laughs> I will not take I will not take the last of a slander on here. Absolutely unbelievable. <clears throat> so anyways guys, um uh, what is your opinion on The Last of Us? And why is it the best game ever made now that the hater is gone? <laughs> now that I got rid of the hater how are we how are we feeling about the last of us the best game ever made <laughs> alter no he'll be back i only did it for one minute it's okay 
<laughs> Alter will never be back. <laughs> Alter will like never speak to me again after this. <laughs> But honestly, that one's on him. Like, do not slander the last of us in my presence. It's a very gameplay full game. Unbelievable. The audacity. <laughs> Sleeve. There you go. Correct, I will never speak to you again. No, Alter! Oh no. I can't believe we- I can't believe me and Alter had a fight over... The Last of Us and Baldur's Gate. <clears throat> when she asked us to talk about The Last of Us, a sense it may be a trap. It's not a trap if you say nice things about it. Deletes you off the Nintendo Switch Online Family Plan. <sighs> I take it all back. I love Baldur's Gate. It's an amazing. Gale is my favorite. I would kiss Gale on the mouth. No, please, Alter. I need to be on the Nintendo Switch Family Plan. I need to play Splatoon. I'm addicted. I'm addicted to Splatoon. <laughs> you can't do this to me. I'm gonna have withdrawals. You people cannot get me addicted to Splatoon and then and then cut me off from it. <laughs> you guys can't do that. <laughs> I would kiss Gail in the mouth, Lara Twenty if we don't tell Ethan. Please. I've already been slandering Baldur's Gate to him too, and he keeps getting offended. And when he finds out that I'm saying things like that. <laughs> I would kiss Gail in the mouth too. Damn it. I don't like the headphones. I don't know how to make them look nice. <clears throat> the ultimate Splatoon related scam. <laughs> oh my god, we gotta get the Steam Family stuff set up so I can share Baldur's Gate with you. I don't want it! I don't want it! Don't look at Discord? What do you mean, don't look at Discord? Don't. WHY DID YOU TAG HIM?! Bruh... It's so over... Don't say that to him! He promised he'll buy me another Gundam! You cannot do this! I've been slowly manipulating Ethan into getting me another Gundam! I haven't even built the first one yet... You can't... <laughs> <laughs> he said if I built the first one, he'll buy me another one. You, <laughs> you cannot ruin my plans like that. You can't just do this. <laughs> You're putting your guns on base future. That's exactly. Why are you guys trying to sabotage me? First the Splatoon, then this. Would you like it if I took gambling away from you? No, you would cry like babies if I took the gambling away from you. And yet you treat me like this. Don't forget, I can take away your gambling any second. And all of your money too. So you better be careful. <clears throat> But is the Steam Family like out? Is the Steam Family feature like already out, or or is it not released yet? I didn't really know if they were like I didn't know if they were like announcing that they're working on it, or if it's already out. Not the gambling slots one thousand, <laughs> just like that, just immediately. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it is. I'm not for sure the beta is. Oh, I see. Hmm. Yeah, I need to be on someone else's Steam family because, um, 
I don't fucking have any games that people want. Honestly, guys, get on my Steam family. Get on my Steam family. And then everyone can play The Last of Us on PC. That's, that's my ultimate plan. To put everybody I know on my Steam family. And then they're like, oh my god, I cannot wait to play all these games Lara has. And then you go into like the publicly available games. And it's just The Last of Us. <laughs> Imagine you're like, you're like, like POV, you're in my Steam family. And the only game available to play is The Last of Us. That's it. <laughs> I don't know how big a Steam family can be. I think it's something like six people, Max. I'm pretty sure it's something like six people or something like that. I don't know. It's not very big. I just hope that they actually like genuinely let you have whoever on it. Because for example, like some of those like family services don't actually let you have people in your family if you're not like actually in the same house or something like that. I feel like I think they do something like, oh you have to be on the same Wi-Fi with that person or whatever the fuck it is that they do. I know Switch isn't like that because I'm literally on Alter's Switch family plan. <laughs> and Alter is very far away from me. <laughs> The Last of Us and the Plastic Plastic Dark Simulator. That's right, guys. That's that's correct. The Plastic Plastic Dark Simulator can stay too. That's a good one. I enjoyed that game thoroughly. I still want the DLC. Guys, we gotta get the DLC for our Steam family. <laughs> for our growing Steam family. <laughs> Plastic bag? No! Plastic duck! <clears throat> game publishers can opt to not let the games be shared. Oh my god, of course they can. Of course they can. The capitalism strikes again. Guys, nobody tell them that people used to like give physical discs of games to other people who weren't even their immediate family. Nobody tell them that, okay? Nobody, nobody tell game publishers that. They might actually explode. Hello, Holly. I turned shit into a Vocaloid. Because I have no shame. This is my Shin Kikuchi for V6. <clears throat> There's an option for the children family to request to buy games. Okay, I mean, at least that's understandable. I guess that's better if they just like bought the games with your credit card without telling you. Imagine your child just buys Fortnite V-Bucks or something like that and then you broke. You lose all of your money because of that, can you imagine? Welcome back, Minami. I hope they put Shin and Sin for me. His voice would sound amazing. <laughs> but... But Minami... Whose side are you on here? I cannot I cannot figure you out. I want it in in like his kind of standard color palette because I think I think that will look good. There you go. Look at that. How stylish is this? <laughs> mm. 
Actually, I think it would be more like that. There you go. Look at that shirt! Doesn't that go hard? I can't believe they put shit on V6. I hope they put you on soon for you someday. Oh my god. I love how I love how that's been talk of the town. It really has been a slow week. It's been a slow week in the vocal synth community, if that's what you guys have been arguing for the past like week. Very Balenciaga. Hell yeah. I love my Balenciaga vocaloids. Shin becomes the first officially licensed Balenciaga uh, voice back. Let's go. Telephone wires. Please, Phil. Maybe... Yeah, maybe I'll do the hair there. <clears throat> anyway, Hibiki. <laughs> Congrats on Hibiki Lewis transition. <laughs> oh my god. Lara, you should play That's Not My Neighbor. What? What is that? What color should the tie be, though? His eyes are yellow. Is it weird to make... Is it weird if your tie matches your eyes? <laughs> Is it weird if your tie looks just like Kagamina Lens? How strange would that be? <laughs> it's too much his eyes, I promise. It has nothing to do with the vocal with Kagamina Lens. <laughs> Please believe me. Please believe me. Maybe I'll do like his hair. Maybe that's better. <laughs> Only if it's weird if your skirt matches your eyes. <laughs> your skirt must always be matching your eyes. Or then what's what even is the point if it doesn't, you know? There you go. I do kind of want a new outfit for myself, I'm not gonna lie. I've been thinking about it, but I just don't have... I don't have the time. <laughs> it's fairly easy to rig new outfits, but you still gotta draw it and stuff. And I'm working on a VTuber model commission. I've been fucking working on that for forever now. So I cannot do anything until I'm done with that. But I've been like thinking about it. I've been like, hmm, what? Theoretically, if I got a new outfit, what would that be? <laughs> My eyes are wizard blue. You should do a design contest, but nobody's going to join that. We've talked about this, guys. <laughs> like, no one's gonna join it. I'm not popular enough. We're gonna get like two entries, and then I'm gonna be really torn between those two entries because they were both designed by my best friends. If I did a design contest, I already like see how it's gonna go. It's gonna be like three of my friends join and then I'm gonna be like, oh great, now I gotta choose between three of my friends. <laughs> and, then, and then I choose one of them and then the other two people are not gonna be my friends anymore. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know about that. I think we have to push. We have to push the Lara um, popularity a little bit more. We gotta promote me more, guys. And then we can finally have the Lara outfit design contest. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll still be a friend even if you don't pick me. Hmm. That's what they all say. And then they cancel me on Twitter. <laughs> I don't want to make this one like transparent. Ooh, hell yeah. Transparent Vocaloid sleeves. That's the shit. That is the stuff, man. So brave of me. Never done before design choices happening here today. Okay, I might need to. <clears throat> Should totally pay for advertisements on YouTube. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, you're gonna be clicking on this other VTubers stream. And, and gonna get an ad just before it from me being like, Hi! I'm live right now! And then... <laughs> you should come watch me instead! <laughs> okay, but like, I got one of those ads ones from this VTuber and she was like, I'm live right now! And I clicked on the fucking ad and she wasn't live! You guys? She was not live right now. She was lying right now. <laughs> like, she she wasn't even live. You can't just make those ads and be like, yeah, I'm live right now, and then not be live right now. Who does that? Who the hell does that? Like, I was low-key like, okay, fine, I'll click on your ad. And then she wasn't even live. Like, what the hell is that? Yeah, she lied right now, for real, for real. <clears throat> I think you guys have it should ever be a fake Lara Sevio AI design or some pajamas. I actually kind of wanted like a sort of mafia outfit so that then I can be matching with Furio Tigre. Like a, like a rich mafia girl princess. <laughs> You know. <laughs> but then, I also kind of want an outfit. And there's the Furio Tigre mansion. This is my stream, I do what I want, okay? But I also... I kind of want a new outfit for my demon form, though. Because my demon form... Like, this one already has a new outfit, right? My demon form doesn't have like any outfits, so I feel like that it would be nice. It would be nice if the demon form had some clothes, right, guys? <laughs> She's like, <laughs> it's like we gotta cover her up, guys. She's <laughs> she's not wearing anything. <laughs> the demon form Lara is so naked. <laughs> like, girly, girly pop needs to put some clothes on. I say that like I didn't design her. I say that like it wasn't completely on me that she looks like that, you know. <laughs> to make a mafia suit for your demon form. I don't know though. I feel like it's not gonna look that good on her. I don't know. I feel like it's really hard to design outfits for her because she has like some really funky colors going on. I'm not too sure. I kind of imagined the Mafia outfit on my normal model though. I don't know. It's a very far off um, plan anyways. Because let's be for real. I don't have time. I don't fucking have time for a new outfit. <clears throat> I gotta finish the model I got paid for. Don't know how I'm gonna do that with the wrist paid, but we'll figure it out. 
Oh man, I haven't saved this a single time. I love living life on edge and not saving my work. That's what everyone should do. What a rush. It, it really makes you feel alive when some project you've been working on crashes on you and you haven't saved in ages. Happens to me all the time with 3D stuff. But I don't really want it to be like a suit. Like, I want it to be more like, um... Not like a suit suit, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Just something that gives off, like, mafia vibes. But like, really... But also like, girly. I guess. Because I kind of prefer more girly outfits anyway. For myself. There you go. The vocal outfit is done. <laughs> Look at it, guys. Would you not buy... Would you not buy this voice bank? This is not the best Vocaloid design you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna line the other one now. I have no idea what kind of colors I'm gonna go for the other one, to be honest with you, but we'll figure it out. Like, Furio Tigre's suit? But Furio Tigre has, like, a pretty much a suit. Just not really, like, a jacket or anything. Actually, no, he is wearing a jacket. I keep thinking that's his shirt, but I think it's actually his jacket, is it not? I don't know. I have drawn Furio Tigre from memory so much and I just keep like designing new outfits for him. I don't fucking remember what the man actually wears in the game. <laughs> I just keep making shit up. I do really like the kind of coat on this one. I think it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One outfit at a time. I'll learn how to draw male fashion. Just you guys wait. Mm Bruh, I keep getting notifications from Instagram. <laughs> I'm still getting notifications. I'm like, I have my phone in front of me for the for the face tracking and, and it keeps like popping up fucking Instagram notifications. Please. Please, is this what it's like to be famous on Instagram because of a five minute tutorial that you made? That's crazy. Can those, can those, like, 90k people that watched that reel buy my commissions? That would fund my rent for the rest of my life. <laughs> what happened? I, I decided to test out the Instagram reels. So Instagram reels is basically YouTube shorts. It's like vertical videos. And they're prioritized by the algorithm because everybody wants to be TikTok now. So I was like, you know what? I'll do it. And then I made one random video where I just explained how to draw rain. I kid you not, I just drew some rain. And I was like, this is how you draw rain in Clip Studio. And I got 90 90k views. <laughs> and I got like 100 new followers. And people in the comments were like, oh my god. I would have never thought to draw rain like that. And I was like... I was genuinely sitting there like, huh? Is this for real? For real? Like, is... Man... The Instagram Reels meta is just that easy, apparently. All you have to do is make like a small clip studio tutorial and people are gonna be like, hell yeah! I gotta monetize my Instagram. Can you monetize Instagram? I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> mm -hmm -hmm. 
It was a good idea. I never thought to draw rain like that. How, how have you guys been drawing your rain? I'm so confused. Like, I've, I've genuinely, like... I've known how to do that for years now. Like, I just kind of randomly came up with that years ago. But, like... I honestly... I thought... I genuinely thought that I was gonna post that video. And everybody was gonna be in my comments like, We already know that. Everybody already knows how to do that. <laughs> like, I genuinely was like, I thought everybody was just gonna cook me in the comments section and be like, everybody already knows how to draw rain like that. And then everybody in the comments section was like, wow, this is, this is revolutionary knowledge. I am never getting over that. That is so funny. And I think my mom saw how the video blew up. Because my mom follows me on Instagram. Because uh, my parents, like I, like, I called my mom today. And my dad was there with her. And the first thing he told me, he was like, How many views does your video have now, Lara? <laughs> I was like, damn, dad is, dad is enjoying the clout, apparently. I was like, well, how do you know about this? You don't even have Instagram. He was like, like... He didn't say hi to me, he was just like, How many views does your video have now, Lara? <laughs> I just don't draw rain often. Yeah, it's not like a super like big thing that you draw, but sometimes, you know, sometimes. I gotta go now, bye 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 bye. <laughs> Only she is true. Shame on you, shame on you, shame on you. When is Kevin Synth V getting a Vocaloid 6 voice bank? I'm waiting. <laughs> I think they should make a Kevin Synth V V6. And then we can make. A magnet cover of Kevin V6 and Kevin Synth V. How sexy would that be? Mm. I would hate it. Why? Just imagine the range, the possibilities of a Kevin V6. Well, I guess we got Alan. It's fine. Or whatever their names are. I don't know. The V6 voice bank. I still don't know what they're called. I don't even have them installed. To this day, I still haven't installed the V6 voice banks. I pretend they don't exist. Just don't have them. Never will have them. <laughs> My V6 doesn't even have any AI voice banks on it. That's how sad it is in there. Mm -hmm. Kevin should stay in Synthy. Synthy should stay in Synthy. Man. Can't say anything on here without triggering you guys anymore. This is so sad. What has what has the, the vocal synth Twitter done to you guys? You're no fun anymore. <laughs> and like I say something, I say something, and you guys are like, Lara, you shouldn't joke about that stuff. The the synth v v six situation is very serious. <clears throat> You should install your voice banks layer out they free. They came with your Xbox 360. <laughs> I'm more of an inline 6 person than a V6 per What does that even mean? You cannot bring stuff we don't understand into our vocal synth discourse. I don't know what that means.
I understand your reference, Mr. I don't. Can you please explain it to me? Like I'm five years old, preferably. Please. Please. I'm stupid. Alter gets it. I don't get it. Can you tell me, please? <laughs> Larry, do you overdub your voice track? I don't even know what that means, bestie, so... <laughs> Probably not, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <laughs> stop, stop talking about things I don't understand in my chat, guys. That's, that, that's forbidden. That's banned. You can only talk about things I understand. You can't just do this to me. How am I supposed to be part of this conversation if I have no idea what you're talking about? Hmm? This is an engine co configuration? What kind of engine? Inline 6 is a superior engine. What engine are you talking about? <laughs> I'm so confused. <clears throat> Automobile engines, Lara. <laughs> Are you guys talking about cars again? No wonder I'm confused. I never understand it once you guys start talking about cars. That's kind of that's kind of where it all ends for me. I never get the car talk on here. Maybe I should get into cars. Why did I waste my time getting into Gundams? I don't even have anyone to talk to about the Gundams. I spent all this time watching Gundam videos, but maybe I should have been learning about cars. Clearly, my audience is very interested in cars. So that could have... That could have totally helped me to... Make my subscribers happy. Because then we could talk about this stuff. I feel like this outfit is kind of low-key all over the place, but you know... Once again, I already committed. And I'm giving him the demon horns. You can't stop me. Also, I'm gonna copy-paste them because I'm... I'm bored. I cannot be bothered to draw it twice. It's too much work. Don't you know? What do you mean there's no object? Why did I just copy-paste? Wait, hold up. What? I'm so confused right now. What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? What? What? Okay, hold up. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at this and I'm like, huh? Okay. I think I accidentally pasted like a wrong layer or something. Like that. I don't know. It's okay, I fixed it. Look at that demon shin. Room, room. <gasps> my youngest doesn't have a driving license, I do not. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't have a driving license either. I've been kind of thinking about getting one lately. Not because I want to drive a car. I honestly don't, but just like to have it. I don't know, I've been kind of considering it. I've been like, oh, maybe I should do driving classes just for the sake of being like, yeah, I have a license. But then never drive a car in my life. I just don't trust myself with a car. Nobody should. Why not? It's all fun. I don't want to. I don't know. Cars are scary. And I feel like the only thing scarier than a car 
is me driving one. <laughs> There's only one thing worse than a car, and it's Lara at the wheel of a car. <laughs> like, there's... I don't see any... Like, outcome where it ends well. And nobody dies. I don't know. I just have this feeling that I would absolutely kill multiple people if I drove a car. Mm -hmm. So you don't get a motorcycle isn't worse than that? Yeah, you know what? One thing worse than me driving a car is probably me driving a motorcycle. You're right. Yeah, that's that's the, <laughs> that's the worst worst outcome. It just said me riding a motorcycle is so just I can't even imagine it, so I didn't really think about that, but thanks. Um, I guess. Thanks for making me think about that one. I, I just don't know. How do you guys drive cars? Well, I guess, like, in America, it's super, like, necessary to. So you guys will just learn at a really young age because you have to. And then you don't think twice about it. But I don't know. I grew up using public transport. <laughs> <laughs> You could get into go-karts or something and drive on a track. Would that make would that make me a good driver? With my hands and feet? Hmm. I just I don't know. I just don't think the car driving life is for me. Man, how did I miss so badly, like, on where the legs were <laughs> on the base? But it's okay, there's gonna be a jacket there anyway. Now, the colors on this are not final, because I haven't really decided how I want to color this. But I'm just gonna do some really rough colors, and then we can... We can figure it out. Like, a layer of pink under the coat would be cool. And I, I just really like this shade of pink that Shin has. I think it looks really good. And it suits his hair color and stuff, so... I do kind of want to stick with it. Because I think, I don't know, I think it works. It's like his signature color, you know? Let me be the jacket. Maybe something. I don't know. Maybe that's too similar to the other outfit. I don't want them to be completely like similar color schemes, though. Hmm. I don't know. <clears throat> I drive a lot for war. You get used to it. I don't know, I'm kind of scared of being a driver because I get distracted so easily. You, anybody who has heard me talk <laughs> ever and me like switching topics three times in a, in a minute and stuff like that. I feel like, I feel like if you've ever heard me do any of that, you've probably been like, man, this girl. This girl does not have the attention span. But you know, it's like... <laughs> what if I'm gonna be driving? And then I suddenly start thinking about Furio Tigre or something like that. And then, and then I crash. You know? Or what if I'm... What if I'm like, I don't know. What if like, I get distracted by something that's like on the radio. Or something like that. I don't know. It's so scary to me. You really do get used to it, though. I don't know. I just don't trust myself with a car. I feel like I feel like you gotta be ready to to drive a car, right? You know, you know, you gotta be like in the right mindset to do it. You gotta you gotta know that you're ready to do it, or otherwise it's just gonna end in a disaster. And I just know that I'm not ready to do it. 
But I don't know. That's why I've been thinking about taking the lessons. Because maybe if I take driving lessons, then maybe... Like, I'll just I'll get, I'll get like, a feel for it. And then I'm gonna be okay. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Maybe if I do the lessons and I get a bit more used to it, then I'll be fine. I'll be like, oh, actually, it's not that bad. I don't know. Cars, cars scare me. Lyric can drive a car for more than three minutes. It's true, though. Okay, you guys don't seem to. Okay, surely you guys understand. Like you've heard me talk. I get, I zone out so easily. Or I get distracted and switch topics so easily. I don't know. I sometimes I would like rewatch parts of my streams for clipping and stuff like that. And I see myself like switch to something else mid sentence. <laughs> I have seen multiple parts on my streams where I would be saying a sentence. And I wouldn't even finish the sentence and start talking about something else. <laughs> and, and like, could could a person like that really drive a car? <laughs> could a person like that really be driving to the vehicle that's moving? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Just have a VS about the last of us open while you drive. Easy peasy. <sighs> yeah, and then the person says something I don't agree with, and I'm like, what? And I and, and I crash. <laughs> and the person is gonna be like, actually, I don't really like um, collecting the supplies, I think it's annoying. And I'm like, what did you just fucking say? And then I crash into a sign. That's the best case scenario, probably. Me crashing into a sign is like the least scary thing. Actually... And be free... <laughs> That one golden bald video. Was that the guy that insulted The Last of Us? Was that the one guy who insulted The Last of Us? I do remember there was like some video on The Last of Us from this one guy. And he was like, bro, he was like, here are some things that are like wrong with The Last of Us. And he was just like straight up spreading misinformation. I wanted to punch him in the face. I was like, what is he talking? Like, he was like saying stuff that was just like straight up like not true. And I was like, you can't just, you can't get on the internet and tell lies. That's my job. I get on the internet and tell lies. Not you. Excuse me, when did, when did you get little liar duty? Because last I checked, I'm on little liar duty at all times. Not you, you bitch. Unbelievable. So, the audacity of some of these people. <clears throat> it's vile to throw only five years later agrees with exactly. I mean, I agree with basically any VSA that praises The Last of Us. I have a lot of that. My The Last of Us video essay playlist is 90% videos praising the original The Last of Us. And then there's like 10% videos that are slandering part 2. <laughs> and then there's like a couple videos that say that part two is really good and I kind of like you know I'm like okay they're making some good points so I'm allowing it kind of situation you know <laughs> I can't wait to make up a lot of videos as far as information you already tried that today alter and you got timed out <laughs> sounds about right there's just nothing more satisfying than listening to a person praise your favorite video game for an hour I don't know how to explain it but it's just it just feels really good to put on a video essay where a person says everything I already know. But like, all, all they're doing is like praising the game I already like, you know, it's just... It's just a really satisfying experience. Fingering out what this was all about. 
Okay. I know these colors look like shit, but I kind of just wanted to color everything. And now I'm gonna... And now I'm gonna try and decide on what to actually color it. This was just like a quick thing that I did. But now we can recolor it. Mm. Okay, no, I, li I like the overall kind of outfit, but I don't really think... I don't really want them to be very similar in color schemes to each other. If that makes sense. I do kind of like the color of the pants. Maybe a bit lighter, though. <laughs> what you feel just for the validation? I mean... You know, I thought, I thought everybody just does that. It's like... I feel like there's two types of video essays that people watch. You either watch video essays on something you like that's praising it, or you watch video essays on something you hate that's also hating on it. You know? Like, there is... Like, nobody gets on YouTube and puts on a five-hour video essay slandering something they like, unless they're a psychopath. You know what I mean? Hey, Lara, good night. Good night, Lucas. Evokichi, you can say hi to me before you play the slots, you know, just out of politeness. Just to make it look like you're here for me, you can at least be like, hi, and then do slots 15. How about that? Come on. You can invert this and make the pants pink and the jacket gray. Pink pants, eh? Pink pants? Gray jacket? Hmm... I don't know, I feel like... It kinda gets lost. I feel like it, it stands out better if the pants are dark and the jacket is light. I don't know. Because I feel like then the shirt would also have to be light. Because like basically the really bright jacket kind of brings out the entire silhouette behind him. I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Slots 2000, stop! What the fuck? Shinkis baby girl energy! I can't believe I baby girled Shinkikuchi. V Shin. He's in class, and I'm out here baby girling him. Maybe some like brighter colors, you know, like in the Alter P song? When are we getting Shin Gucci and Alter P collab? I don't know. I'm having a hard time picking colors for this, not gonna lie. <laughs> think, Clara, think. I feel like going with his original color palette already set me up to like just being confused. What if we make it more just like different from his usual color palette? What if yellow? I know I say this every time. I know I'm constantly trying to push my yellow agenda, but I really mean it this time, guys. What if yellow? Look how cool that looks. Think about it. Veva heart emoji. Now you're telling me Veva heart emoji after you played slots and then said hi to everybody else. Unbelievable. You know what? I like the yellow. I do want to change the shirt color though. <laughs> Lyra picks colors for five hours. What else is new? Maybe I should this color and then the pants like a darker color. No. I think the shirt this color looks fine, to be honest. It was for the meme. 
You would do anything for the meme. Just like that. I can't believe you would hurt me for the meme. You would be mean to me just for the meme. Unbelievable. I love how I'm still desperately trying to incorporate pink into this even though I know it's not going to work. But you know... Sometimes you still gotta try. You never know. But probably not though. I think just like black for the belt and stuff will be fine. Your dad doesn't exist? You know, a lot of the ducks don't seem to exist for some reason. <laughs> Where is your duck? What did you do? What happened to the duck? Okay, let me restart it. It's kind of weird. Yeah, where is your duck? Let's see if I can bring it back. Maybe it like glitched out. There's my duck. You might need to message into the chat again though for it to appear again. <clears throat> Gambling is broken. Oh my god. Okay, I think it's... Huh? Huh? What is happening? Why is it bombing? You guys did a mass bomb, did you? Did you? But it wasn't in the commands. Did you do it through the extension? I didn't see it in the chat. That freaked me out. I was like, well... It, I think it just broke, it broke, but then it like, okay, let's see, we've got Alex, Alter, Minami, Doctor, Kiki, me, Kichi, there you are, look at that, you're here. <laughs> it came back. I don't know what happened there, but um, it works now. <laughs> Something glitched out there. Slots 3000, there it is. You guys, you guys only cared about the slots. <laughs> hey, oh, look at that. Alter, can I get a small loan? Kichi, you can't be out of money. Kichi, did you gamble all of your money away again? Why did you do that? What the hell? I kind of want to see what a plate pattern would look like. Um... Under the like on the jacket layer, like you know, one of those like expensive jackets. Make it smaller though. We gotta make it look like it's expensive stuff, you know. Look at that. No, that's high fashion. I've been out of money for so long. Kichi, did you actually lose all of your money? What the fuck? <laughs> She's so baby girl coded right now. Stop! Leave him alone! <laughs> I can't believe I, I don't dress a guy into like... 
like a tech wear or whatever outfit and then suddenly he's baby girl. This is why men are afraid to dress differently. <laughs> because the second they do, we baby girl them. <laughs> There's no escape. <laughs> Just immediately gets baby girled for no reason. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm not clipped on this layer. I have not forgotten about making the pants lever though. If you think I forgot, you're very wrong. I will never forget my mission of lever pants. That's right, I'm doing it. I'm putting the shine on them. To express their leverness. That's right, bitches. There you go. It's beautiful. <clears throat> I don't want to wear work jeans and a dress shirt. I want to be a baby girl. <laughs> oh, to just be someone's baby girl and not do anything. <laughs> Honestly, that's the life I'm aiming for. <laughs> Kichi does not exist. from my bot like that just looks so mean i gotta change that bot so that it doesn't have like my channel name <laughs> because it's just like straight up saying shit like kichi does not exist like that's so fucking mean that's a nasty comment to make <laughs> i really said kichi does not exist I gotta make that bot named Zone or something like that. And then Zone can be calling people poor, being like, You don't have enough currency. Because you're broke. Like, oh, Zone, how could you say that? What? <laughs> yeah, that bot could be whatever like account you want. As long as you like name it after that, so... It's possible. You better not piss me off, Zone. Or I will make the bot have your name. And then the bot is gonna be like, Kichi does not exist. Hehehe, <laughs> poor. I'm kind of vibing with this outfit. I wasn't too sure about it at first. But now I'm kind of vibing with it. But also... I choose violence today. I hope, I hope Shin is not looking right now. Because I chose violence today. Um, fuck it. <laughs> today, today the baby girl fans eat well. Slay. Slay, girl boss. Let's go. Lara made the best baby girl. <laughs> Thank you for the food. You're welcome. Okay, I'm just gonna shade the Vocaloid outfit now. Shin is gonna come back from his class and he's gonna fucking see this. And be like, uh-huh, <laughs> why am I wearing eyeshadow, Lara? Oh, you know. <laughs> Just baby girl thing.
Not the ice cream murder song. Oh no, where did the headphones go? Okay. Slot 5. Kichi's like slowly getting their money back by um by gambling small amounts of money. Oh my god. You know, I appreciate the dedication. At least you're de at least you're dedicated to your craft. That's all that matters. Alter is flexing like slots 1000 though. Alter, show some respect to poor Kichi. Well, well, I didn't mean to say poor like that. That wasn't That kind of that kind of sounded like a wordplay, but it wasn't intentional. <laughs> show some mercy to poor Kichi here because they're poor and have no money. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Poor kid. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that, guys. Please. <laughs> Poor. <laughs> Alter has 11,000. Oh my god. Man, you just gamble 69 and win 69 back. <laughs> it's my new title. I didn't mean it like that, guys. I promise I don't make fun of the poor. Not until I'm filthy rich. Wait until my filthy rich arc. Once I become filthy rich and lose all the basic human compassion, just how they all seem to, that's when I start making fun of the poor. That will be my making fun of the poor arc. Oh no, even Aaron is gambling. I don't think I've ever seen Aaron gamble in my life. Look what you guys did. You are turning even the model citizens of the Dak Pond into gamblers. Have you no shame? Some of these are functional human beings and parts of society. And you turn them into gamblers. One day I might make it to middle class, Kichi. Oh my god, it's like, you know, those like Mafia City ads. <laughs> Level 99, middle class. <laughs> you guys are gonna have like levels above your head, and it's all based on how much money you have. Level 100, boss. <laughs> BRB gotta call my sister and wish her happy birthday. Okay. Happy birthday to your sister. It's also my birthday, by the way. Did you get me any gifts? Did you guys know that it's my birthday whenever I say it is? And I just decided that I share a birthday with Zone's sister. I accept... I accept video games. Gandams and a pretty art of myself as gifts. It's my birthday too. No, it's not. Stop lying. If this is, this is my moment, don't ruin it. What if you live in the woods free of the class sister? Wouldn't that be nice? No, but happy birthday. You must beat the entirety of the last of us on the ground to go up in rank. Happy birthday, Lara. Slots one high. It's my birthday. No, it's not. Your birthday is tomorrow, Minami. Stop lying. Damn, these shins, they kind of slay. You know what? I like them. You gotta trust the process of some of these Sailor Taylor outfits. Because, because sometimes you're like, man, this is the worst thing ever. Why the hell am I doing this to another person and their design? But then, like, over time... You know, it, it kind of gradually gets better, you know? You just... You just gotta trust the process sometimes. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I can already tell that shit is not gonna like either of them. He's not going to be a fan, but that's okay. This might be about him, but also this isn't about him, so it's, it's okay. 
<laughs> Alex, can you wish me a happy birthday too? It's not her birthday, Alex. Don't fall for it. Happy birthday, Vietnamese slot 69. Oh my god. But never getting up to dance. Mm -hmm. There you go. The signature Sailor Taylor background. I'd wear both of those outfits. Hell yeah. The V6 shin. And the baby girl shin. The baby girl demon shin. Get some color swatches. The whopping three colors used in this outfit. We gotta get those color swatches, guys. People gotta know what three colors I used for this extremely complex outfit design. And then the like four colors used for this one. But never getting up to dance. There you go. <clears throat> Thank you for the baby girls that are on my birthday. It's not your birthday, you bitch. Stop lying. <laughs> I'm not confident enough to wear something of a tiny window. Fair enough. Honestly, me neither. <laughs> Alright. I think it's done. I think I think it's very slay. <laughs> it's my papa's birthday. Why is it everyone's birthday today? What is going on? Are you guys just are you guys just all lying now? It's not even really my birthday. So many birthdays today. <laughs> very slay. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not confident, but ten dollars. Ten? Are you saying you would wear this outfit for ten dollars <laughs> only? <laughs> oh my god! Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for coming today. I'm sorry, I'm kind of low energy today. I feel like, but you know, I don't know. I'm really out of it today for some reason. But at least we got the outfits done, so that's cool. I will see you on Friday. I'm going to attempt to build a Gundam. Come if you want to see my um, scary white hands live on stream on camera. <laughs> Thanks for the comfy stream. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Stop playing slots though. But you want 500 Kichi? You're not poor anymore. You guys can start paying my rent with all this money you're winning here. Like, what the hell? We found a new building. I don't know, it's some really basic beginner-friendly Gundam. I can look at the box. G-A-T-X-1-0-5 Strike Gundam Omni Enforcer Mobile Suit. Does that tell you anything? I don't know. It's like super, I don't know, it's like super basic. I just got one to learn how to build it, and if I like it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe get another one. Is this from an anime? Aren't they all from an anime? Are they not all from an anime? I don't fucking know. We'll figure this out. I've never seen the Gundam anime. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, look at the, look at the cool robots. <laughs> Bye-bye, everyone. I'll see you on Friday.